I just received a wig in the mail that I didn't expect to come and I just finished shooting video on something else that I didn't think went that great and now I just kind of want to do something that will make me happy <laughs> and I just got this wig like I just went down into the um, to check the mail and I didn't expect it today so I'm happy so the wig that I'm going to review is a wig that reminds me a lot of the Baba wig. I'm not sure if I did a review of this wig or not, but I definitely have done a video wearing this wig. And the Baba wig, which I think, I don't remember if it was by Bobby Boss or not, it was the first wig that I ever wore comfortably on the daily and just felt like, yes, this is my hair if I can carry this off it feels like me and I was just fascinated by the fact that wig uh, technology had come to this point where they're making these wigs look like not just the straight hair and the wavy hair and the caucasity hair and the and the kinky straight hair but like the kinky lock hair and this was not a long wig this is a short wig and it's like in this really cool kind of like um like a fro hawk kind of thing it, it's like tapered down here and long in the front so that's what this wig that i'm about to review reminds me of so i kind of have expectations and hopes and things and i have literally i just got it in the mail i have no i haven't opened it i'm just i'm doing it right now in front of you so it is the boss wig premium premium synthetic wig in soul locks and i recently learned about this wig watching a wig video because um I've been watching a lot of wig videos lately. I'm, I've really been deep in the wig porn lately. And this woman, oh man, I'm going to I'm going to link her. You know what? I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I hadn't seen it's been reviewed. The Soul Locks wig is not a new wig. It's been reviewed, but I never seen it before. So um hers was the first video that I had watched. Um, on this wig and I'm just like how did I miss this where is it our oh, lordy because I've been watching a lot of wig videos you know like a lot so here no that's not it that's not it either that's not it okay it's poetic angel and I actually got the same wig that she reviewed in the same color. The best way I can describe it is like a reddish kind of orangish color, but you'll you'll see what it looks like. You can't really see it through here, but it's it's my kind of uh, ombre. It's like when I had locks, I had my own natural hair color is like a dark brown, but then I would dye it like golden brown, like golden blonde, so that it would be like, you know, dark to like golden blonde. So that's what this color is kind of like. And so the review that I watched for this wig, the first time that I saw it, was by Poetic Angel, and she reviewed this wig as well. And it looks so good on her, so natural, so much like what feels familiar to me what feels like I used to have my locks in that style before I was like I have to get this wig so with no further ado not open it up so it comes like this in this bag that you've seen before okay oh Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it out of all of this cardboard and stuff. 
so we can see how it is constructed. Girl, oh my gosh, there are no combs whatsoever. No combs. No combs. No combs anywhere. Just how I like it. Adjustable straps. Um, everything else is pretty familiar. This is the sort of like stretchy mesh cap. And the the locks themselves are See, this is what the the Baba wig didn't have. Although I had noticed because my mother-in-law got this the ba uh, the Baba wig, um, it was different than the one I got. Now the one I got, like the locks kind of like stood up and held a structure really well, but the locks themselves were dry and just kind of like harsh and just coarse to the touch. But I was just like fine because I like the structure that it held. When I saw the wig that my mother-in-law got, it was softer like this. It didn't really, it, but it fell differently. So this is like that second version of the Baba wig that they did where the locks are actually a lot softer. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's nice when it feels good too. It's just nice. <sighs> okay, so I'm just gonna put her on now. She doesn't have any, um, any combs on it, just a dashable just adjustable straps so i'm just gonna just kind of throw her on she was she like wow so the first sense that i get is of kind of like jerry curlish feeling but i don't hate it i feel like you can a little bit back and leave just a little bit coming in the front the color oh, I love this color I didn't put any I didn't adjust the straps or anything I didn't tighten them or loosen them this is it like I it's very big head friendly obviously if I could just throw this on and not have to adjust the straps at all because I do have a big head I I think I like this. I, 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 I'm hesitant to say love, but I think I might even love it. Like, wow. Wow, you guys. Like, this is it, yo. Okay, um... Yeah, I tend to want to pull it back a little bit. And um, let me take this tag off because I ain't returning this. Clearly, this is your forever home, boo. What? Oh my goodness. How is this not my hair? How? 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 And it's. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. I swear to God, if I could find an old picture of myself from like high school or college, like you could not tell me that this is not my freaking hair. What? I'm sorry. Okay, so this is gonna be the shortest review ever. Like there's nothing really to say about this this is literally out of the box on my head no combs didn't adjust the straps haven't styled it in any way i've seen other um women on youtube like they pull the curls out if you want like a bigger volume which could be cute too but i just see myself wearing it with the locks just like this the sole locks i'm gonna turn around so that you can see the back Sorry, I'm geeking out. Let me just, let me just turn around slowly. Um, 
Um, this is my hair, you guys. This is my hair. Um, I'm gonna try to wait to bust this out in the summer. Um, it's a light. It's beautiful. It's soft. The curls are gorgeous. The locks. Who is gonna tell me that these are not my locks? Okay, that I can't just pull this up into a little bun in the back with, with, with my little plastic scrunchie and just have a whole other like Ha, who? 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 Like what? How? How? And it's I threw away the tag. It's so cheap. It's like 20 something dollars. Just like the Baba wig. This is so affordable and it's completely synthetic. I, I'm, I'm, yo. I, it's perfect, bitch. Bitch, it's perfect. I'm trying to say more so that this video is longer than 15 minutes. But there's nothing, there's nothing else to say. There's nothing else to say. This is my new hair. I'm going to try like hell to wait until the summer to bust it out because this is my summer hair. This is it. This is the wig. This is this is the hair. This is the unit. This is the, this is the joint right here. This is what you're gonna see. You might see another version of it. You might see another color. But this is this is this is it. I love these ones over here. They're just just kind of like hang down on the shoulders. It's easy to wear. I'm pretty sure the maintenance of it is, but I mean, you know, if you can't take care of it, if you can't wash it, if, if that don't work, I mean, it's, it's 20 something dollars. You could just go buy another one. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. It's almost unmess up a bowl. Like, I, I can't mess it up. Like, no matter what I do. She's still cute. She's, she's still cute. This is me. Like, this wig is not just dope. It is, like, my spirit. It is my spirit wig. Do you understand? Like, I don't have to put... I might not even have to put on makeup with this wig. Bitch! Oh, my God. Okay, so... To recap, this is the Soul Locks wig by Boss Wig. Um, I don't think I've ever bought, no, Bobby Boss. Yes, obviously we know Bobby Boss. Boss Wig, I've never gotten anything from this line before. It is the color M833 Soul Locks T4 slash 130J. I'm wrong. I said M833. 33 was the color it's actually t4 slash 13 oj do you know that i also go to google to google all of the crazy wig colors that come up in the wigs that i look at in the wig reviews because i'm fascinated by them like what's tt4 slash 613001 like i just need to know this is one of those colors i've never heard of before and i love it it's like a dark because this is not 1b this i would say is like a four maybe and this is like a kind of reddish orangey color at the tips this is my this is my shit right here like this is everything for me i could let me see i could even maybe pull this off because i feel like i don't know what this is this is interesting maybe that's there to make it seem more seamless i could do this with it that would be dope that would work as well I'm maybe I could pull off putting some little like jewelry in it it's not a very thick lock but I could work it out there's a lot that can be done here 
it's kind of like you remember Freddie from a different world everybody not everybody but like me and my best friend and I'm sure a lot of brown girls wanted Freddie's hair because of the curly the crazy kind of like curliness of it and then like the ombre or maybe she just had like one color at one point and maybe I'm imagining that it was ombre I don't know but this it kind of reminds me of that too the Freddie from a different world here It's a little bit, like I said, it kind of has a Jerry Curl vibe to it, but it's it's it, it absolutely is not that vibe. I think it's these curls on the bottom that make me think that, but this is like 100% lock, lock look. And this is how my hair was when I first started my locks. Like, because at the ends, it was very, very curly because I started mine in braids. And as it grew out, it was a lot like this. So let me wrap this up because all I'm doing right now is just drooling and just just being amazed just okay I will put the price somewhere on the screen or below in the description box somewhere so you know just how cheap this wig is I don't remember who I ordered it from I will put that link in the description box as well but I don't know how long this wig has been out. I don't think that it is new, but get it. If you like this kind of look, get it. Um, if this is a, a look that you uh, have always thought about uh, experimenting with, get it. And of course it is, as you can imagine, 100% hashtag wigs for lazy people friendly. Aside from having somebody come over and put this on your head, it's the easiest, it's the easiest freaking unit I have ever reviewed. Um, next to the Outre um, Daily here, cause that was pretty easy too. Out, right out the box, no combs, no combs. If you, if you have any thoughts about this wig, please feel free to leave comments in the comments section. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like content like this, if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I will see you in my next video.